Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. Okay, so I did, I added up the numbers on my last video. Um, I had put down to like which couple you want me to do next. And it is <clears throat> Miley Cyrus and Liam Hem Hemsworth. <laughs> okay, so I checked out their birth dates. Her birthday is exactly the same day as mine, November 23rd. I always knew that because when you drive, when I drive to work in the morning, um, right before eight o'clock in the morning, the um, DJ say, "Oh, today's the celebrities. These are the celebrities that are the birth dates for that day." So every year, I knew um, Miley Cyrus. It's like, okay, her she's a Sagittarius, just like me, born November twenty third, just like me. And Liam Hensworth is um, January. 15th or 13th, which would make him a Capricorn. Now the internet hates me, I swear to God. I did, um, who was the couple that I did? Oh yes, Haley Baldwin and um, Sean Mendes. I googled his name and it said he was an Aquarius and now I'm getting comments that he's a Leo. Like the internet hates me. All I do is I Google the name and up comes the birth date and I guess I'm just too naive and I take the first one. So he is a Leo. Okay. All right. So, but this, um, uh, Liam, he's my ex, my ex-husband is, is January 14th. This guy's like January the 15th. And so it's like, it's very close birth dates. Like that's so weird because I'm exactly the same birthday to her as her and he's almost exactly the same birth. Uh, he's all, like a day or two off my ex. Hold on, let me just get his right birth date here. And I want to make sure I'm saying his name right. Liam Hemsworth. January 14th. See, and my ex-husband is January 14th. One day off. Like, isn't that funny that it's just like almost the same birth date and we're exactly the same. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that, enough of that bragging. Okay, all right. So um, Liam and Miley. Uh, it's kind of a touchy situation here, I find. I did look up to see what he does, and he's an actor as well. I don't know if her, her star shines brighter or his. I feel like hers does. He kind of takes a little bit of a backseat. I'm sure he does had enough work and stuff like that. But I just like, I mean, she's Hannah Montana. Come on, that's how I remember her. And she's probably trying to shed that image of the little girl Hannah Montana. Um, but I feel that this is kind of a rocky relationship. It's like, I don't think they're trying to force this to work, but it's not the most harmonious union there is. I feel like there's a lot of work that comes with this and they don't really understand each other. I don't feel like her dad is um, Billy Ray Cyrus and he's been in the mu music industry. So I feel like she comes from, uh, I don't know what the word is, like she kind of comes from a more... I'm sure she's pretty down to earth, but what's that word? Um, I'm looking for that word. Uh, 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 oh, I can't think of that word. It's not coming to my mind. But pretentious. It's like she's a little more pretentious than he is. It's like that's the word I'm looking for. It's like he's naive kind of to the way things are in California, Hollywood, wherever they live. And I feel like he's at one level, she's at a different level. It's almost like he's a little more grounded than she is. And he doesn't really understand her world. Apparently he's from Australia. So I don't know if he was like, you know, um, came here as a little boy or what happened. Um, but he's not comfortable living the kind of lifestyle that she's used to. He, he, he likes things more basic and more dialed back. You know, like, um, I don't want to say he's more of a commoner because I don't, I don't, that's not the word that I'm looking for. It's more like, you know, she would drive a Mercedes and I feel like he'd be more comfortable with, um, Volkswagen or something like that. And I'm not saying she drives a Mer you guys get the point though. The point is that I feel that, that. She lives a lifestyle of a certain degree. He doesn't, 
he's not used to that. I feel he's very uncomfortable in this world that she lives in. And again, I feel like her sun, her star is shining brighter. So he also kind of has to live up to that. Um, I'm sure his star is shining too, but hers is a little bit brighter. Uh, kind of reminds me of some, like, like Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, where she's kind of grown up in the culture, in the acting, in Hollywood, in there's roots established here and Brad Pitt comes along and get, hits, gets, you know, he, he has to make a name for himself. Not that Angelina Jolie didn't, but you, you kind of get what I'm saying. Like he's kind of thrown into this, this relationship, like with this woman, same with Jennifer Aniston, right? She comes from roots of acting, right? And then you look at Brad Pitt who comes along, who is from a different world and thrown in to this family of both these women that um, are solid in the community, they've been they've grown up with certain expectations, certain way of life, and I feel this is the same with, with Liam. Like Miley Cyrus grew up with a certain way of life. It's almost like things are kind of handed to her on a platter. Again, that's not I'm not mean like literally, but it's like there's this way that she's kind of grown up. She has certain expectations and he's kind of worked his way into this world. Like, I mean, no background of it, I, I'm thinking. And I mean, obviously not of Hollywood. And this lifestyle is a little bit different for him. All right. It should be, there, there's, there's something that they're not understanding here. They love each other. Um, I feel she leads. Um... I think she tries to help him understand the way things are in Hollywood or acting or whatever it is that they do together. Because I don't know if she sings anymore or anything like that. So um, I feel he's a little bit more laid back than he's the one that's laid back, kind of lets her take charge. But I think at times that becomes a problem. All right. Um, bottom line, he doesn't understand. Bottom line. It's like me, it's like me being thrown into a party scene. I'm not a partier. And it's like me marrying like somebody who's in a rock band and parties and has groupies. And it would not sit well with me. Like I'd be like, well, this isn't my life, but I love you and I'm going to try. You know, it's, just, it's, just, it's the, kind of like the same things, you know, on a different level. Like he's not, a, he's not very comfortable with something. He doesn't understand something in this lifestyle that they have. Uh, so I think this is somewhat a, a problem here. Um, have they been together 10 years? Like I heard the other day they've been together 10 years. I don't know if they're married. It sounds like they're married. Um, I uh, this is this is a struggle. It really is. Um, I think that there's a lot of perhaps arguing that kind of goes on. Um, I kind of feel bad for them because I just, I, I get that same feeling. Um, I've been married two times, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say. With my first husband, I never understood him. And I tried and I tried. And I tried to understand him. And when I think of these two, I get that same icky feeling of not being able to understand and that person not trying to, trying to like, not really even helping me. And I get this icky feeling of just something is not, somebody doesn't like something here. And I think it's him. I think it's him that's not understanding. I keep going back to the lifestyle. He doesn't understand the lifestyle or or whatever it is. I feel Miley Cyrus is grounded. Um, like she's a grounded person. But she has, it's, oh, I keep going back to like this way of life or expectations or something like that. So 
I think I think he tries. I do think he tries, but this is going to be work. If these two to stay together, it's going to be work. Um, there's, I don't, like, I do not, like, I see a connection and then a disconnection. I see connection, disconnection. It's just like they, he just, he, there's not a, there's not a strong connection here. Unfortunately. You know, um, I get, a, I, I get a lot of this mixed up. Like, someone's mixed up. It's not her. She knows who she is. And she is very, um, she knows who she is and nobody can rattle her. I feel that she does want, she does what she wants to do when she wants to do it. And I think that the decisions that she makes mostly are done very calculated with her. All right. He's not like that. He's a very play it safe sort of a guy. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. He's very, he plays it more safer, right? So these two got together, and it's a constant, it's just a battle. I feel it's a battle. And then it's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right? Uh, I, don't think like, I don't think these two are uh, two peas in a pod. All right? I think they really, I do give them credit. I feel that they try really hard uh, to make this work and understand each other, but mm, pretty rocky, I feel, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Let's see what the cards say. I'm going to use my Game of Thrones cards. I really like them. I think I've said that each time. Okay. Liam and Miley. Liam and Miley. Liam and Miley. All right. What are the messages regarding Liam and Miley? Liam and Miley. Liam and Miley. What are the messages regarding? More than two cards. Followed. If you're new to my channel, the way I do my readings is I let um, one card follow at a time. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. Okay, all right, Liam and Miley. What are the messages regarding Liam and Miley? All right, so what are the messages regarding Liam and Miley? We have the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is about wishes coming true. It's material abundance. It's good health. Uh, let's get the deeper meaning of this card. Nine of Cups. All right, so it means... All right, the Nine is the Tarot's wish come true card. You not only manifest what you desire, but you also get to enjoy it. It's a time of abundance, growth, reward, affection, laughter, and new connection as connections as a relationship and new ventures flourish. You share your rewards. All are welcome at your table. So if they got married, this could represent that this relationship is flourishing. Okay. All right. Um, three of Swords. Now, this is about heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression, surgery. There could have been heartbreak uh, with the two of them. It could, it could be heartbreaking. What goes on with them back and forth, back and forth? This can also uh, mean that like uh, three people in a party, third party situations. Um, I just kind of got a feeling from Liam that he loves her. But you know how sometimes you love somebody, but you just don't like them? <laughs> I don't know. If he just got, if he just married this woman, there's, there's the three of swords. All right. This isn't like the best card in the deck. 
Three of Swords. All right, the sword hilt, sorry, the sword hilt represent, represents House Stark Lannister. What the hell? Why is it telling me this? This, okay, so the suffering heart symbolizes the impact of a revelation, sorrow, betrayal, and heartbreak. The card's meaning. You may see a painful truth, but you will know exactly where you stand from now on. An additional meaning is intense stress or and the need to strike at the heart of the problem. I can't read. I went to work today. I was up at six o'clock in the morning. I thought, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a reading done and I just can't read tonight. All right. The suffering heart symbolizes the impact of a revelation, sorrow, betrayal, and heartbreak. The card's meaning. All right. I mean, right now they could be celebrating, but I mean, I don't know if they th throw shit in each other's face. You know, like, this is what you did to me before, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. But then there's the sun, and the sun is the luckiest card in the deck. Okay. Uh, the sun talks about... The sun is one of the most positive cards in the tarot, signifying happiness, well-being, and an opportunity to bask in your achievements. The card often arises to show a well-deserved vacation and, overall, reaching a point at which you ease up and share precious time with that uh, those close to you. The card also favors time with children, nurturing new projects, and con conditions that lead to financial success. It's relationship growth. All right. So... Here it's flourishing. I think that there is some heartbreak here in the relationship that they could possibly be overlooking. And this is like celebrations, right? So um, they've got issues. They've got issues. But this is saying that that um, right now is going to be, it's a good time for them. You know, they're having fun time. All right. Let's see what we can expect the future. Let's see what we can expect the next three months with Miley Cyrus and um, Liam Hemsworth. Miley and Liam, what are the messages next three months? Next three months, Miley and Liam. Miley and Liam. Okay. Miley and Liam. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords, okay? The Eight of Swords is self-imposed restrictions. So somebody here has issues with... Um, past like thoughts right this is a card where you um feel like um it's self-imposed restrictions it's isolation it's imprisonment excuse me it's someone who can't get out of a certain way of thinking all right so it's like when you feel like you're trapped by a situation and you can't get out of it so this is usually mental trap like you know for example if you're caught in a shitty marriage and you're like, but I can't leave because I don't have enough money and I have nowhere to go. And I don't know about the kids. And what about my in-laws and my, my parents? And what is everybody going to think of me? Like, that's what this card talks about. You're not really trapped. All right? You want to leave? You can leave. This card is just saying that you are caught up by all the worries that you have. All right? So next three months, this is somebody who feels they're stuck. They're stuck in a way of certain way of thinking. The celebration keeps going. There's the three of cups, friendship, celebrations, a circle of support. I feel this relationship is back and forth. One day they're having a great time. Next day she throws something in his face or he throws something in her face, like bringing stuff up from the past. And then we have the six of swords, six of um, spears which is about victory, awards. So there's, there's going to be victory here the next three months. Now, cards are always, always, um, cards are um, potential. They are with potential of what can happen. All right? So I got people who are reading comments and saying, well, you said in three months, Justin and Haley wouldn't be together again. And here they're saying they're going to be together. Well, I'm reading energy at the time that like at the time I'm reading the energy of what's going on okay so it's like me for example saying to you oh I think you're gonna I, I, I see you meeting somebody and lots of books lots and lots and lots of books in two months okay so where are you gonna go with the next two months oh where's there a lot of books I'm gonna go to the library I'm gonna hang out there because that's where a lot of books are and that's where I'm gonna meet the guy 
two months later comes by, you don't meet this person that I would tell you that you're going to meet. Well, this person you could have met at a garage sale that you could have potentially went to and there was a ton of books there or at a bookstore or, um, you know, at a school. So it's always cards of potential and something can change it. Like we, even with Haley and Justin, you know, when I do readings, it is based off the, on the energies of that day and that sort of time sort of a thing, right? And then all it takes is Haley to say, let's get a dog. I think that would be quite fun. And that derails them from, it derails them from their issues. And, you know, you put the focus on this dog and you both love this dog together and it takes your problem, it, it just, it just, it just, fills the void, right? If they wouldn't have got the dog, maybe they'd have to face each other and go, I don't know if this is working, you know? And then um, it would keep on going that route. So I, and, and it's free will, right? So I can't tell somebody what to do. So people have free will. So you have the free will, you know, to go search out every freaking bookstore there is when you could have met this person in a random in a random garage sale or whatever the case is. That's how cards work. Nothing is ever written in stone. All right. These are always cards of potential. So, all right. There's a little lesson there. So, all right. Um, if anybody would like to get a private reading, you can email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video. Um, you can, and then I'll I'll get back to you within 24 hours. I usually I'll usually get back to somebody within a few hours after they send a video. So, all right. I hope you guys like this video, um, and uh, thanks for watching and supporting me and all the lovely things you guys say about me all the time. If you hit subscribe, then. Um, you will always see a new video come up. I put videos up every day. I just do like even a minute and a half every day of like just Oracle messages too. So you can ignore those if you don't want to watch those in the monthlies. But I really um, appreciate everybody for watching and, and supporting me. So thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye.